I've been crying on and off the entire week. Hi everyone. Uh, I know I'm coming live all of a sudden. Uh, this was so unplanned. But uh, there are a few updates that I wanted to give uh, about Earthlings Cafe. And I thought it would be best for me to go live and share with you all all that is happening at the moment. Uh, oh my god, it's so tough to kind of put it out there. But uh, okay, let's do it. So uh, 23rd April 2019 is when we started Earthlings Cafe, my baby, my first business venture and uh, it was like an extension to my cause which is veganism uh 23rd april 2023 which is last sunday i i got a call from my landlord saying that uh, you know we have one month's notice time and we got to leave this space uh <laughs> it uh, came as a big shock Especially it was on the day of anniversary and uh, it took me a while to understand what is happening. It took me a while to uh, process. The last entire week I have been trying to uh, see if things work out, you know, if he is willing to extend our uh, you know, uh, rentals here, but unfortunately, he seems to have made up his mind. He's not willing to change his mind, and uh, which is why I think we are going to leave. Yes, we got to leave this place in less than a month from now. Oh, shit. I'm really sorry. I did not expect that I will end up in tears because I've been crying on and off the entire week and I thought I'll kind of gather myself and come out really strong while talking to you guys but I don't think it is in my capacity to do that. <sighs> oh my god. Shit. So yeah. Um, I think it is what it is. We uh, are here until 25th or max till 27th of uh, this month, which is about three weeks from now. Uh, after which this place will no longer be Earthlings and uh, we'll be moving out. So, uh, like, why it's even more difficult for me to understand this whole thing because it was a running business and it was entirely in my capacity to sustain this business irrespective of the fact that we were making profits or we were breaking even or we were in the losses irrespective i knew that i could carry on with this for as long as i am and uh, which is why also because when i took this place it was in an in a very very bad condition a very shabby condition i made this up I put in everything, you know, like my heart and soul. I gave my, like almost a year and a half to this 11 months pre-COVID, 12 hours every day I used to be here. I gave up on all my work and lockdown happened. In lockdown, I, I, I paid the rentals just because I didn't want the landlord to have that excuse of throwing us out. Had I known that after like a year and a half of things getting normal, I, I would be in this position. Probably I wouldn't be spending, you know, so much back then. I would have been a little more wiser. But, uh, yeah, who knew, <laughs> right? So, yes, and he has two of his other shops that are vacant for, I think, since the time of COVID lockdown they've not been taken and I was like requesting like why are you not putting those up for you know like whatever work that you want to do here why can't you do that instead of throwing us out because it's a running business and for everybody who knows me personally knew the fact that you know I I would give it my all to have this place not close because it is not just a business venture for me, it is not, it is an emotion, it is my baby. 
I don't know. I'm I'm like totally loss of words right now. But yeah, for all the people who supported us <laughs> throughout in our journey, thank you so much. I'm not saying whether we will open elsewhere or not because it's a lot of work to have a place get going. You know and. like i don't think i'm in the right state of mind right now to think of you know shifting elsewhere not right now i'm too weak emotionally and too shattered so i will take my time but <laughs> the kind of crackpot that i am and the kind of impulsive decisions that i take who knows you know but as of now the update is that earthlings will close in less than a month so all you guys who have been so supportive last 3 weeks do come spend your time enjoy your favorite dishes because as we start running out of our inventory we will stop selling those items you know like we will uh, discontinue the dishes that will uh, be short of the raw materials uh, so probably some of your favorite dishes will last only for another week or two until the stock lasts so do come spread the word to your friends and uh, many of you all will also be wondering about what happens to momo <laughs> because this was his home even before we came in momo was here and uh, we kind of adopted him after that the first thing that came to my mind in all this was also how you know do i take care of him now that we will be moving out we don't know who is going to come here we don't know if they will be okay with momo being here because thanks to all our wonderful guests momo was so used to coming and sitting on chairs on tables on their laps and you guys have always you know encouraged him to do that you loved him so much and now all of a sudden he i don't know he will probably not be as welcome as we all were right so I tried taking him home. Last three days he was with me, and uh, I thought I will, you know, not abandon him. But unfortunately, he's been very angry. He's never been indoors. So he's trying to break open the nets, trying to sneak out, and all he's been doing is be by the window and, uh, you know, just get rid of that prison, which obviously for him is I can understand. so i had to get him back and leave him here again in a month's time when once, once we move out i probably will check on him again and see if you know things are not going well i might give it another try but as of now momo stays here and uh, yeah i just wanted to thank all of you all who've been so supportive you all have made this place what it is so much love so much encouragement lot of criticism also from a lot of people but that is only made us grow and get stronger so thank you thank you to each one of you all 